In this demo, I'm going to show you how to apply GitOps configuration on top of an Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster. And I already have my Kubernetes cluster deployed locally on my machine using Kind. And that cluster is already onboarded as an Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster. If I go to the GitOps configuration tab, we will see that currently there are no GitOps configuration applied on that cluster, which is exactly what we're going to do as part of that demonstration. Now, when you're deploying GitOps configuration, you're basically initiating a process of deploying a Kubernetes application coming from a dedicated Git repository. And that dedicated Git repository in our case will be the low arc Git repository which will then go and deploy a simple Node.js application. And by the end of this deployment, we'll be able to see that interface right here. When we deploy GitOps configuration on an Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster, we are initiating the process of also deploying two main components. And these components are the Flux operator and the Flux Helm operator. The Flux operator is responsible for looking at the Git repository and consider that as the source of truth. It represents the state of the application, the desired state of the application. And this is what Flux will consider as version one of that application. The Flux Helm uh, operator is responsible for looking at the Helm releases that we have in that Git repository and basically capture any changes made on those Helm releases. So let's look at those Helm releases. Here under releases, I, I can show you that we have the prod release and that prod release include the low arc YAML file. And you can see this is the Helm release, which points into a Helm chart. And this is a standard Helm chart. What we're gonna do as part of this demo, we're gonna change the release and we will see how the application is getting updated at real time. I wanna show you the chart and just uh, for you to see that this is a standard Helm chart. There's nothing fancy about that Helm chart. We have the values YAMLs, we have the chart YAML, and we also have the templates, which is basically the Kubernetes deployment manifest um, in order to make sure that the application is functional and running on our cluster. Now, one thing to know about Kubernetes clusters deployed locally using Kind is that Kind currently does not support ingress controllers with a type of load balancer. If you're familiar with the other Kubernetes flavors coming from the cloud providers like Azure Kubernetes Service or Elastic Kubernetes Service from AWS or Google Kubernetes Engine, uh, those can support ingress controller with a type of load balancer, but with Kind, you, we cannot do that. So in this demonstration, we're going to deploy Nginx as the ingress controller, but instead of deploying that with, as a type of load balancer, we're going to use Noteport. We're doing this because we need to be able to access the web application we're going to deploy locally from our machine via port 80. So here in the kind documentation, I already have the command to deploy Nginx with the right configuration. So I'm going to head and copy that command. And before we're going to dive deep into the deployment, uh, I want to show you the cluster. So um, I have a couple of workers, the control plane, everything is up and running and we can actually start the deployment process. So the first thing I'm going to do is to deploy Nginx uh, using the command that we just saw. So I already have that in my history. So let's go ahead and do that. And what will happen is that Nginx will get deployed with all the other Kubernetes resources that are needed in order for it to function. Um, and you also have in the kind documentation another command, the kubectl wait command, that you can use in order to make sure that everything is up and running from ingress perspective, right? So basically that command will go and search for condition equal ready uh, for the Nginx uh, pods. So let's go ahead and run that command and see what we get. So this command, I already have that in my history uh, as well. So I'm gonna use that. And we can see that the deployment has already finished. Um, the ingress controller is up and running. And we also got uh, created with a dedicated namespace ingress dash nginx. So let's go ahead and see what kind of services we have under that namespace. So um, I'm gonna use the kubectl get services command um, on that namespace that we have and Let's see what we got. 
So we have the Ingress Nginx controller with a type of node port, and this is exactly what we want. We want that Ingress controller to be a type of node port for the same reason that we mentioned before. And also we can see that port 80 is the one that is using. So we will be able to access the web application using that port. So now that we have the Ingress controller deployed and up and running, we are ready to deploy the GitOps configuration. Before I'm going to go and deploy the GitOps configuration, I want to make things a bit more cleaner. So I'm going to set three environment variables in my environment, and then we're going to see these environment variables in the GitOps configuration command. So the first environment variable is to set the resource group. Uh, and this is the resource group where the Arc uh, enabled Kubernetes cluster is already deployed. Um, so this will be environment variable number one. The second one is the actual name of the Arc cluster. Remember, we are deploying this GitOps configuration against an Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster. And in our case, this is the cluster name. And the third environment variable that we need is the Git repository we are targeting. And you remember, we're going to use the hello Arc Git repository. So this is the environment variable that I'm going to use, the app clone repo. And that's it. Now we are good to go and ready to start the deployment process. So for deploying GitOps configuration, we have um, a special um, AZ Kubernetes configuration create command. And this command is basically uh, a representation of all the configuration, the GitOps configuration that we need to deploy on top of the cluster. So let's go over the configuration. The name, this will be the name of the configuration as it will appear in the Azure portal. The cluster name is exactly the one that we just set and the resource group um, is uh, the resource group where this cluster is located. The operator instance name is a low arc and the operator namespace is the prod namespace. This is where all the Kubernetes resources are gonna get deployed. We are enabling the Helm operator in our case and it will be at version 0.6.0. Now, uh, one thing to point out when it comes to the Helm operator that is optional. If your application does not have a Helm chart and you're not using Helm release, you can also deploy GitOps configuration using simple Kubernetes YAML file and manifest. But in our case, we are using the Helm operator. Um, the version of the Helm operator will be version three, and this is the repository we are targeting. The scope for this GitOps configuration is namespace. And uh, what we're doing here is we are targeting a specific namespace for this deployment. You can also have GitOps configuration on top of a cluster uh, scope, which means that if you have multiple Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes clusters, what you can do is you can set GitOps configuration for applications that you wanna have on all of your clusters. For example, Nginx or any type of Ingress controller, service mesh, security application, et cetera, et cetera. So this is where the cluster namespace is, um, is coming. Now, in our case, we are deploying on a local environment. It's a test environment using local Kubernetes cluster with kind. So we're not going to do the cluster configuration uh, right now. And the type is uh, connected cluster. Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes clusters are represented as connected clusters in Azure API. So this is what we're going to go with and the operator parameters. Now, the two important operator parameters here is the git poll interval and the git path. Now, the git poll interval uh, for three seconds is uh, a modification that I made because the default is five minutes. And what I wanted to achieve here is I want to get to a point that the operator is uh, basically asking the Git repository every three seconds, what's your status? And every time there is a change, he will pick that change and initiate the deployment. And the Git path um, is the path for the Helm release. If you remember in our Git repository, we were using the, um, the release of the Hello Arc application. I'll go back just as a reminder, and we'll go into the releases folder. And you can see here that I have the prod release, and here we have the Hello Arc um, application. So this is what we are gonna use um, in this deployment. So let's go ahead and kick off the deployment. And what will happen now is all the components that needs to be deployed on top of the cluster will get deployed, the operators and everything really that is needed. So we're gonna come back and explain what we're seeing in a few seconds. So as you can see, the AZ Kubernetes configuration command has finished and the provision state is in succeed. And 
the important thing to remember is that we deployed all the components inside the prod namespace. But before we're gonna dive into the Kubernetes cluster and see what got deployed and access the web application, I wanna show you how the GitOps configuration now look in the uh, Azure portal. I'll switch back to Azure portal and you remember we didn't have any configuration at the beginning of this tutorial, but now if I'll refresh, we can see that now we have the Allo Arc GitOps configuration. The operator state is installed, which means that everything is up and running and the configuration is deployed successfully. Remember the operator scope, we, scope, we uh, selected namespace, not cluster. And this is exactly the namespace that we just talked about. Uh, I can click on uh, the configuration and see the information coming from uh, the deployment. Uh, we can see the log and the status of what happened and also all the information that we entered as part of the um, AZ Kubernetes configuration command. Great, so I'll switch back to terminal now and we can explore what is it that got deployed on the cluster. So I'm gonna look at the pods that were deployed in the prod namespace and we'll go over those and to make the connection to everything that we set in the configuration. So I'm gonna kubectl into the namespace and to get the pod, uh, the pods and let's see what we have. Okay, so we have the hello arc, that's the actual web application that we deployed. We're gonna access that web, web application in a second. We have the Helm Flux operator, if you remember that. And we also have the actual Flux operator and this is memcached. Mem memcached is another component that gets deployed in order to cache the Docker images as part of the deployment. Okay, so everything is deployed and we are ready to access our application for the first time. To do that, let's go back to the portal again. And um, what I wanna do here, I'm gonna uh, um, use localhost to access the application. And as you can see, the application is deployed. Remember, we used node port with our ingress controller, and this is why we are able to access the application. Another thing to notice is that I have um, a small extension here that will go and refresh the page every five seconds. I'm gonna change that to two um, to make the demo um, a bit faster in terms of the refresh. So let's change that, and that's it. We've come a long way. We deployed GitOps configuration on an Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster, but now it's time to make a change on the application and see how that change is impacting the application at real time. To do that, I wanna switch into split screen and I'm gonna move the web application to the right side of the screen. I'll open the terminal here. And the reason that I wanna do this is because when we're gonna make a change on the application, I wanna show you what's happening on Kubernetes at real time and also how the application is getting refreshed with the new version. The first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the kubectl um, watch command here uh, to get the pods for the prod namespace. And now we are looking at the prod namespace and it's time to make a change. To do that, I'll switch back to the, um, to the Helm release that we have for the Hello Arc application and this is the message that we're seeing we're seeing the hello arc GitOps demo which is the same message that the web application got deployed now what you want to do is you want to consider that as version one of the application so what i'm going to do i'm going to edit that helm release and we will see what's what is happening let's go ahead and edit that yaml file and change the message here we're going to change from uh, a lower GitOps demo to a lower GitOps demo on kind, just as an example, and we'll scroll all the way down and commit the changes. And I'll switch back very fast here to the uh, Hello Kubernetes um, application. And on the left, what you will see, you will see a rolling upgrade. The Flux operator is picking up the change that was made on the Git repository, and the Helm operator is picking up the change that was made on the uh, Helm release and what will happen is a rolling upgrade. So on the left here in a few seconds, we're going to see how the pods are starting to get deployed. And there you go. You can see that the first thing that will happen is um, 
basically a new pod with a new version of the application will get deployed, following by a termination of the old pod. This is the process of GitOps. It's basically about changing from version one to version two and do this change in real time. So that's going to take probably a few more seconds, but um, in, uh, we're going to see the web application changing on the right side. So I'm going to leave that and let's see what happens. Great. So we can see that now the application has the new version deployed. The old port pods uh, has been terminated. Let's clean the screen here a bit to get a cleaner look, maybe um, remove the watch command. And we can see now everything is in running state. And this is the new version of the application. We can see here that the um, the ID of the pod, which matched the ID of the pod here. And now we have a new version for the application. So what we did in this demo, we showed how to apply GitOps configuration on an Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster, which was deployed using Kind locally on my machine. And we made a change on that application and we saw the rolling upgrade being performed and, um, and applied on the cluster. Thank you.